Well, if you live in Odessa, you've probably noticed the painted boxes scattered around the city. Randy Ham joins us again yes. from Odessa Arts. We're so happy you're here today. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here and so thrilled to talk about this today. Yeah, so I actually saw one of these boxes while I was driving past MCH. I think it was on 2nd Street. Yeah. Um, but it looks so cool, and I was wondering, who made this? Well, you know... When we started doing a public art master plan a few years ago, one of the opportunities we saw were traffic boxes because mm -hmm. no matter where you live in Odessa, no matter where you work, you're probably going to be stuck at a red light at some point, right? And we know those traffic issues. Yeah, and we've here, got so. these traffic issues and these silver boxes that are just sitting there, they're kind of a blight. So we thought, why not make that an outdoor gallery? There are 127 boxes inside the city limits of Odessa. Wow. And we want to cover all 127 of them and turn them into an outdoor gallery. So we started uh, two years ago mm -hmm. and we've been up to 16 boxes so far. And we just unveiled the last four, mm -hmm. bringing us up to 20 on Golder Avenue between 7th and 3rd Street. And so who is the artist behind the art? The artist chosen is Don Remix. Uh, he is a Puerto Rican native who now lives in Orlando, Florida. Uh, we put out the call for Traffic Box Art nationwide. Mm. And so far we have an Odessan. Uh, someone from San Francisco, someone from Dallas, someone from New York City, and now someone from Puerto Rico. That's so so cool. it, it's a great, diverse um, art kind of uh, theme. You've mm -hmm. got everything from uh, birds, you've got literary themed ones, and these are medical themed. Right. And yeah. so tell me a little bit about MCH and how they partnered with you guys. Well, the great thing about these traffic boxes is you out there in TV land can sponsor one. <laughs> and That means you. Yes. So if you have a business, give me a call. But uh, Texas Tech called us, Medical Center Healthcare uh, called us and said, hey, this is a great idea. We want to get, get on board. So they helped sponsor the boxes and then also... Uh, a representative from Tech and also from Medical Center were mm -hmm. on the selection committee to help us select the artist. Right. So we want to make sure that the people that sponsor these boxes also, you know, uh, get a voice in selecting the artist as well. And I know Friday Night Lights is coming up, so you may see some school sponsorships. You never, that could be you cool. never know. I mean, anybody can sponsor a traffic box. And I know there are a lot of businesses out there in the Permian Basin mm -hmm. that have a traffic box right outside their business. Give me a call. I can help you find an artist. It's a really fun project, too, yeah. because you interact not only with the artists, but with Odessa Arts and the Public Art Committee. And it's just a great way to, you know, increase the quality of life and increase yeah. the visual appeal of our, our, our community. And it's so unique. I think it makes us it stand is. out. It's so cool to know that, you know, people were chosen nationally to yeah, exactly. do the art on these boxes. So People from all over the country are competing to do art in our city. And what does that say about Odessa right. that we have artists that want to come here and do work. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us, Randy. And as always, we're going to be posting more information on our Facebook page after the show.